Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One, since Eminem and Young Boy are set to drop albums on the 5th of August. Well, in Eminem's case, it's a compilation album, but the conversations have been quite interesting nonetheless. We also have another one that follows the Lizzo story we covered a few months ago, when Lizzo decided to change her lyrics after backlash on social media. And following the release of Beyonce's latest album, the same has happened, and we'll get to more on this in a bit, as this has sparked heated debates. We also have more on Curtain Call 2, as a few hours ago the music video for Cracker Bottle was officially released, it's been in the vault for over a decade, and this has sparked split reactions so far, and we have some new info that surfaced online following the release of the video, more on this in a bit. So today we'll start with the upcoming chart battle, as Beyonce's second week, NBA Youngboy and Eminem will all be competing for the number one spot on album charts around the world, and this has sparked some interesting takes so far on social media, but here's some information to get you up to speed. In the United States, since Beyonce's case looks to be just like Kendrick's before her, as before her album dropped, many predictions were around 500,000 or above. The album is now projected to move between 275 to 315,000 first week, hence many online put her second week estimates to be between 100 to 150,000. For NBA Youngboy, his last project dropped in January and moved 80,000 equivalent first week, although his album before that moved 137,000. So these are the estimates, but in Eminem's case, since he's releasing a greatest hits album, it's a tough call. And over on Twitter, we find some interesting takes about this. The user expands. If Eminem stops YB from going number one on Friday, then that should be one of the thousand reasons why Eminem is mid and should consider retirement. This has got to be trolling, right? And to this, a user reacts, YB is mid if can't even go number one against the compilation album Laughing Emoji. But some believe these users are worried about the wrong problem. Is dropping a greatest hits album, the only new song and the track list leaked? I think your boy should be worrying about Beyonce. The data at hand proves this, with Eminem it's up in the air, but Beyonce's who they should be worried about, and on this a user adds, not these losers, scared of Eminem dropping a greatest hits album, loudly crying emoji. Well, all I'd say is Game moved his album date to the 12th of August, make of that what you will, and here's one to sum it up, MFs say Eminem fell off but still fear that he will prevent their fave artist from going number one. This reminds me of when Mac Miller, Halsey and Eminem all dropped the same day and hip hop twitter were crying about how Eminem should have respected Mac Miller, only for Mac Miller to come third behind Halsey. Suffice to say it didn't matter, Halsey would have blocked Mac Miller from going number one. But in this case, what do you guys think about the US chart battle? Who will go number one? Beyonce, Eminem or YB? Moving on, just like Lizzo before her, Beyonce faced backlash for using the word in quotes based on the US context. Check this out from Miriam Webster. The word in quotes short for the term spastic, is considered offensive in the United Kingdom, while in the United States it can be defined as the action of losing physical or emotional control. And after some backlash on the internet, reports revealed, Beyonce confirms she will remove a lyric from her new album Renaissance following criticism that it's ableist and deeply offensive. And the culture clash is on right now on social media as this went viral. Neither Beyonce nor Lizzo should have changed it. In quotes, is not a slur in black America and we simply cannot let folks across the pond dictate how we speak. It is common for words to have different connotations depending on geography. This is not new. In fact, some names in one region of the world could be a slur in another part of the world. A tough one to change compared to a song lyric in the digital age. But jokes aside, some believe this is all too much and have concluded. Cancel culture is so pathetic. In the last video, we covered how Tiger had to take down his latest music video because some people of Mexican ancestry from the United States were offended on social media. And today, it looks Looks like it's some people reportedly from the United Kingdom that are upset on social media. Save your thoughts for the comments. And moving on, fans were shook a couple of hours ago by Eminem. And coincidentally, after we tweeted, we ready for the announcements and new music videos at Eminem. Two hours later, boom, unlocked from the Shady Vault, the Cracker Bottle video was officially released. And this has sparked some spicy reactions. The user shared a report from 2009 that stated Cracker Bottle video coming, and it only took 13 years since then. But many on Twitter have reacted like this. Should have kept it in the vault, King. And even on Reddit, it's more of the same from many. A new contender for the worst Eminem music video of all time. Man should have kept this in the vault. And we got some new info about this from Paul Rosenberg on IG. 
We dusted off this gen for your pleasure. Originally, we held the release because we thought the fans would be too disappointed the guys weren't actually in the video themselves. But all these years later, you are mature enough to handle it. Crack a ball. Official video release out now. P.S. I know there were unofficial versions released and parts leaked prior, but here it is in all of its high def official glory. Mature enough to handle it, Paul says. Guess he hasn't seen all the crying on Twitter, although some are left wanting more, drop more things from the vault. And check this out, did you know that the Cracker Bow music video was actually teased back then in the 3AM video? Timestamp 156, and we got more info from the director of the D2LBC video who shared this on IG. 15 years later, the very first video I did for M has finally been released. Before digital and HD shot on 16mm 4x3, crack a bottle out now, curtain call to out Friday. But 15 years later would mean the video was shot in 2007. Hmm. Well, over to you guys, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one.